Well, sports podcasts are all the rage these days. Everybody wants to create their own show and become a star, but it's actually happening for a couple of guys from Nova Scotia. Greg and Nate are their names. The Daily Intermission is their game. And with over half a million followers on YouTube and TikTok, if you haven't heard of them yet, well, you're about to learn today. Here's a sampling of some of their work as they discuss some contenders for some NHL hardware. We've got the playoffs just around the corner, Nate. The Norris Trophy's heating up. I did want to touch on the Norris Trophy. I mean, you got Roman Yossi. Should he be in the Hart Trophy talk? I mean, maybe, man. I mean, he's not. What is he on pace for a hundred points? Mm -hmm. It's absolutely ridiculous. You got. It's. It's just gonna. Like, I don't know who's gonna win. Like, usually, it's. It's a little more. You know, you kind of have the understanding of who's gonna get it. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But, I mean, you got Hedman, who's just Hedman. You can literally have him there every year. Macar, best, defense, best yeah, defenseman. Yep. Exactly. And then yep. you got Macar. He's got twenty-four goals. Yep. which is just outrageous. Yeah. Well, he's only he's he's played two less games than Yossi, and he's six points back. Yeah, yeah, seventy three points. Yeah, but he's not getting like as much like hype as McCars usually gets. Yep. If that makes sense. Um. But yeah, I, I don't know. I'm feel I'm pretty torn. I feel like Yossi's gonna get it. As you see, they know their stuff. We now welcome to Red Wings Live, Greg and Nate. They're a couple of fellow Canadians, and they're the stars of the Daily Intermission podcast. Guys, welcome to the show. Really love your work. But for those not familiar with what you're uh, doing out there, why don't you give our audience some background on who you guys are, how you got this thing started, and how you've grown that podcast to nearly half a million followers so fast. Yeah, listen, first and foremost, the pleasure is ours, Trevor and Manon. Thanks for having us on. My name's Greg. I'm Nate. Uh, and we basically just got started how anybody gets started on TikTok. You know, we started listening to trendy songs and dancing in our bikinis to them. <laughs> you know, just... <laughs> No, yeah, so we're you know we're new sports advocates. So we started the podcast in the heart of COVID, and you know we needed a we needed a place to, to promote the podcast. So we uh, we we decided that TikTok uh, was the right spot, and you know we started to uh, gain a following and gain viewership on TikTok, and and here we are today. We're really excited about it. You know we uh, play lots of sports games, lots of sports trivia stuff on our TikTok, and we're hoping to bring some of those segments to you guys today. All right. Well, uh, everybody's had to reinvent themselves in some ways uh, during the pandemic, that's for sure. And you guys have done it successfully. Uh, maybe that's where you picked up those flannels along the way, watching Mickey Redmond on Red Wings Live and the games that the Wings are playing this year. But we also know you guys like to play some games of your own and you want to play with Mano and I. So uh, what have you got? Uh, we got a little would you rather for you guys. So if you guys are ready to go. We'll get right into it. Manon? I don't know if I'm ready. I watch your show and I'm a little <laughs> nervous here. <laughs> don't be nervous. No, no. All right, we'll start it off. Would you guys rather have a hairline like Jeff Blaschel's or an accent like Dan Cleary's? I have to go with the accent. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted an accent, so yeah, I'll take that. Absolutely. The Newfoundland accent, too. It's a beautiful one. <laughs> Listen, this one's more towards Manon, but... Obviously, for both of you, would you rather take a point shot from Nick Lidstrom with Thomas Holmstrom screening or a penalty shot from Pavel Datsuk? And I was going to throw in Trevor, you know, teeing up Lidstrom for the one-timer, but I watched some footage earlier on YouTube and I scrapped that. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't my best moment. Mano? <laughs> yeah, that's a tough one, but I think I'm going to go with the point shot. I like that. All right, we got uh, work out like Chris Chelios for a year or get hit by Nick Cronwall every time you step foot on the ice. I gain, gain that uh, COVID-19 that they're talking about, so give me the workouts <laughs> all, all day long. I'll take the workouts. I'll go with the workout, too, on that one. I'm kind of crazy <laughs> like it. him. So. All right, well, would you rather skate like Dylan Larkin, your captain, or have hands like Pavel Datsu? Oh. Can we do both? Oh, no. Give me the silky mitts oh, all day no. long. Come on, both. Give me the silky <laughs> mitts. I can I like always it. learn to skate. You can always learn to skate, right? Yeah, but he's special. He's fast. Oh. So. so was the magic man. Wow. Yeah, did you guys see uh, the one-on-one -on -one I had with him, the, the keep away? That, that, uh, that guy oh, yes, we did. Yeah, that guy yeah, can go. We had a little promo video with that in the background today, actually. <laughs> nice. <laughs> all right, this one's for Minot as well. Dominic Hasek's mask, mask or Chris Osgood's mask if you had to wear one? They're both the same. <laughs> they had the helmet ah, and the cage. Actually, that's what I play with when I play in junior. And I oh. couldn't finish my game because I got caught. The cage broke and I got caught. No, it's a little different, I guess. I look at the picture now. I would uh, say uh, Hasgood, the same helmet I wear in junior. Okay. See, Osgood's got a kind of a, a point out to the cage, and then it feels like Hassix is just got like a little, little more protection. Yeah, a little bit like, more. Yeah, who knows? All right, would you rather, for one more season, bring back Pavel Datsuk 
or Henrik Zetterberg. Oh, why would they do that? <laughs> you can't have one without the other. They were the Euro wow. twins. Oh, they're so good, both of them. That's like which Sedin, right? You got to take them both. You can't take That's just one. True. That's fair. I would take both. Both. Okay, we're going both. All right, both. we're breaking the rules, but that's fine. <laughs> it's our rules. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. All right, last one. In this offseason, would you guys rather the Red Wings pick up a top six forward or a top four defenseman? Oh. Mm. I would say forward because we have another good defenseman coming in. So yeah. I would say forward. I'm with you. Give me some dangles up front. Give me a forward. Give me a sniper. Cool. Cool. Well, listen, I would say that's a success. That's that's smooth rolling, too. I mean, we're typically mumbling on our words, going through our thoughts, and we got the Would You Rather flowing. So, well, so well, well we might done stump there. you guys here because I know you guys like to play the nickname game on your show. So, we've got a few nicknames to throw your way, and let's see how you can do with some Red Wing legends. Uh, go ahead, okay. and I'll take the first one. Marcel Dion. Do you need it in French, in English? Or oh, French? Marcel Dion? Yes. <laughs> Oh boy, a little before our time. <laughs> um, the speedster? <laughs> yeah, I, I honestly have no clue. I don't know. I couldn't even. Little beaver. Yeah, chalk one up for the guys in the studio. All right, one up. No, we've got to come up with that one. God. Okay, um, here's one that you might be able to get. Thomas Holmstrom. Uh, oh. The mule. No, that was Franz. That was, uh, that was um, Johan Fran- uh, Franzen. That's right. Oh. What? Who was Thomas Holmstrom? The Demolition Man. The Demolition Demolition Man. Okay. Okay. (laughs) I haven't heard that one before. Okay. Another French guy, Steve Duchesne. Steve Duchesne. Gosh. Oh, boy. We're we're getting put to the test. We are. uh... You guys are getting shut out right now. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. I think we're getting. I'm going to call it now. Get the red marker out and circle the F at the top of the paper. (laughs) Um, The Duke. The the Duke. Duke. The Duke. Duke. Dookie, it's pretty simple. Get a layup for her. (laughs) And I got one more for you guys before we let you go here. Um, Obviously, the production line, you know Mr. Hockey. uh, You know who he was. You know who Terrible Ted was. But Alex Del Vecchio, what was his nickname? Oh, boy. smokes. So we got Mr. Hockey and Terrible Ted for Ted Lindsay and Gordy Howe. And then, (sighs) oh, my goodness. (sighs) Uh, The Destroyer. Yeah, we're going to destroy it. (laughs) Fats Del Vecchio. Good to chalk one up for the guys in the studio. We, won. Yeah, we shut them out, too. Not only did we win, we got a shut out. Manon pitches another shut out, you guys. I'll take that any day. <laughs> well, listen, we appreciate that. Thanks for having us on. Hey, you guys are a lot of fun. And uh, whenever you're in Hockey Town, be sure to stop by the set and look us up. We'd like to have some more laughs with you guys. Thanks. Appreciate the time. You know it. Thanks, guys. Anytime. Pleasure was ours. Nice meeting you.